Pandas apply. So this is the workhorse, or one of the workhorses of the pandas uh, family. And this is what you bring in when you need to do the dirty work. So let's talk about pandas apply and what it's going to do for us today. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import pandas as PD. And so what pandas applies does is it's going to iterate through your columns or it's going to iterate through your rows. So what's cool about this is you can apply a, a custom function, an out of the box function, or whatever really you want to each column and to each or to each row. Let's look at how this is going to be. So our first example, I'm going to create our data frame. And here I just have a list of restaurants in San Francisco with three different columns and four different rows. And what I'm first going to do is I just want to demonstrate what goes into pandas imply. And so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is create a super quick function that takes one parameter and I'm going to print the type of that parameter so we can see what it is. I'm going to print the parameter itself and then I'm just going to print a blank line. We'll go ahead and create that. And then first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate through the columns. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to uh, take my data frame, I'm going to call dot apply on it, and I'm going to pass actually the function that I just created, print outcomes. And by specifying access equals zero, this means that we're going to be iterating through the columns. So let's see what we have right here. And we'll take a look at the output. And what we see here is that we have three different results. And these are for the three different columns that we iterated through. So first I printed out the type and super important to see that the type of input into apply was actually a series. And this series was the column name. So we go back to our data frame up above. You can see here that it passed the column name as a series. And then it passed the column type and then it passed the column average bill. All right, now let's look at this same example. Um, however, this time, let's take a look at iterating through rows. So in order to do that, I have my same dot apply, I have my same print function, and then I, but this time I set it access equals to one. Let's run that. And as you can see, I have four outputs here because it iterated through four rows. And what's really interesting to see is that each row was represented as a series and the index of those series was the column names. So in here, the index is name, foreign cinema, because that was on the first row. Name, Liho Liho, name, 500 Club. Same thing for type and same thing for average bill. All right, so what I want to do to finish this up here is I actually want to uh, do something with the, uh, with the rows. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function that's going to intake a row. And keep in mind, this will be a panda series. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these strings. So I'm going to use pandas format and I'm going to combine these strings. And the way I'm going to do it is because I know I'm receiving a, a series and the index is going to be the column names. I'm going to say, hey, for this specific row, take the name, combine it with this specific row with the type, and then this specific row with average bill. And then I'm going to call my function that I just created and I'm going to iterate through each one of the rows, which is when I set access equal to one. We'll go ahead and combine this or run this per se. And you can see here that we have the name and a comma separator because I put a comma separator right here, the row type comma separator, and then the row average bill. And it does this for each one of the rows that we iterate through. This is a very simple example. You can get as complicated as you want. That is pandas apply.